In 2012, Hurricane Sandy took the lives of 44 New Yorkers and cost the city $19 billion in damages and lost economic activity. We don't know whether Sandy or any other single storm was caused by climate change, but we do know that the rising sea levels made the storm far worse than it would have been, and that New York City, like so many other cities, remains at a high risk of extreme weather. Storms like Sandy are likely to get more frequent and severe if we fail to change course, starting today. Even if you're skeptical about climate change, there's no denying that it presents major risks that no company, city, or country can afford to ignore. The risky business analysis measures those risks and its findings should concern all of us. The analysis shows that communities up and down the East Coast and along the Gulf of Mexico face serious economic risks from rising seas and storm surge. By 2030, climate change could cost coastal states up to $35 billion every year in property losses. And it's not only our coasts that are in danger, Midwest and Southern states could see a 5 to 10% loss in crop yields over the next 20 years, hurting local economies and driving up the cost of food. If you invest in real estate, commodities, municipal or corporate bonds, these risks matter to you. Unless we get serious about managing the risks of climate change, we're likely to see more severe losses in the future. Now, with this analysis, we know the risks we face from climate change, and it's up to us to do something about it.